Manny. Don't forget the sunblock. That's something you're going to need not only for your Friday, but the next several days. We're welcoming in that sunshine nice and bright here behind me out of our 13 WREX camera. The trees right in front of the camera also really not swaying much. So light breeze, if anything, very calm winds for today as your temperatures are still going to climb. It's not even noon yet, and most of us already in the mid 70s. 72 degrees in Roscoe, 73 in Dixon, 74 in Rockford. We're going to reach for those low to even potentially mid 80s later today as we really start to feel like summer. We had that dense fog this morning, but not a whole lot to worry about moving forward. Again, those calmer winds, we still jump into the low 80s, and that's going to be just in time for Rockford's first city market of the season. We start the season off strong with the low 80s right around 4 and 5 o'clock. Then we drop to about 79 degrees, but that's not until about 7, so very warm evening for you as we continue to stay dry. Overnight, we then drop into the upper 50s, staying mostly clear and quiet, and we see much of the same even into the weekend. In fact, we can bump up those temperatures a little bit. Mid to not to even potentially upper 80s for your Saturday. It's going to be hot. It's going to be sunny. Very low winds as well, and we could see much of the same even into your Sunday. Temperatures still in the mid 80s there. Similar weather, plenty of sunshine. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's not until early next week do we start to see some of that active weather creeping back. So at least the next several days do stay nice and bright. Monday brings us the first round of showers and thunderstorms later into the day as we then see some heavy showers into Thursday. That will not only bring a threat for flooding, there's another potential threat we need to look out for. In fact, the entire area is highlighted right now by the Storm Prediction Center as seeing some chance for the ingredients to line up to bring us a severe threat. That pattern does turn active next week and all hazards are possible at the moment, but the risks can and will still change. So make sure you stay tuned to the forecast. This will likely update each and every day as we move closer to next week. But until then, we still have the warm temperatures to enjoy, the sunshine to soak in, all good things around. Can't really beat this kind of forecast. We continue to see that sun all the way through your Sunday. Again, that active weather kicks off later into the day on Monday. It's with us Tuesday. It exits Wednesday and in turn also drops your temperatures. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we look to fall into the low to mid 70s by Wednesday and we look to stay in that territory. So a little bit more comfortable, if you will, as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Manny.